All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to extrude out the arms. So I'm going to right click and go to face and select the face right here, which is right below the head section. I'm going to hit the extrude button and I'm going to click once on this blue box and then I'll click and drag on this light blue box in the center here and just just scale it in. And I'll take the red box and scale up a little bit. Take the green box, scale in. I want to get a basic square shape here. So I'm going to have to switch to vertex. So I'll right click, go to vertex, select this vertex right here, hit W, and let's move this down a little bit. Move it in. I'll take this, move it up. So it's probably better if I go to the side panel and work this way. So I'm going to select all of these uh, vertices here and just move this up a little bit. I'll take this vertex on the edge here and move that up a little bit. So we want a, a basic square shape on our arm here. I'm just going to check this in the, uh, let's go to the front panel and make sure this is not too far off. Move this back in. All right, so I'm going to right click, go to face, select this face, hit extrude, hit W, and let's move this out. So I'm going to hit R and I'm going to scale this together so that it's vertical, this edge right here. And let's see, I'm going to go to my perspective panel, right click, go to edge, double click on this edge right here. It's going to select the whole loop right there and I'm going to scale this up. And I'll just check in the uh, front panel here. Let's see, I'm going to take these vertices and move them over. Uh, that's pretty good. So I'll right click, go to face, select this face right here, and let's go to the front panel, and I'll extrude this straight out, and I'll scale it down a little bit. Go to vertex and let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to bring this up a little bit. Select these vertices on the end here and then I'll scale that in a little bit. Alright, so before we do the hand, I'm going to add two more edge loops to this model. So I'll go to Edit Mesh, and then I'll go to Insert Edge Loop Tool, and I'm going to insert an edge loop going right through the center of the arm right here. And you'll see that this edge loop starts at the top and goes through the arm and goes all the way down through the leg. So what we need to do is now that we've added this extra edge loop, we need to now refine our shape. You can see that it's a kind of a box-like shape here. Well, now that we have this edge loop in the middle, I'm going to hit Q, I can select... So I'm going to select these edges here. So basically I'm selecting the edges for the head and the body and the corners here. So I'll take this and I'll hit W and I'm going to move this in along the x-axis to round out the shape. I'll push that in. And then I'm going to hit R and I'm going to scale in using this blue box. You see where we had a square shape before, it's starting to get rounded out. Maybe bring this in a little bit more. So just by adding that one edge loop, it allows us to create quite a bit more of definition on our model. All right, so we're going to add another edge loop. Actually, at the top here, I should 
change this vertex. So I'm going to click on this vertex. These two vertices actually push them in, hit R, and then scale them in. So we want to bring this in some more. And then at the top here, we've got a flat surface. So let's select the vertex in the very center of the top and move this up. Yeah. I'm going to move this up a little bit, and then I'll move this section down a little bit. So we have more work to do on the arm here, but I'm going to add um, another edge loop on the leg here. So I'm going to go Edit Mesh, and then Insert Edge Loop Tool. And I'm going to just insert this edge loop right in the center of the front of the leg here. Now this edge loop, because of the flow of our geometry, ends right here at the pelvis. So it doesn't go through the entire model like the last edge loop does. So now what we have are a whole bunch of edges, and this will allow us to round out the leg. So I'm going to select the four corners, the four edges of this leg, this box-like shaped leg. And now I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to scale in along X, scale in along Z to round out this shape. I think I can push this in even more. And then maybe take the front and back edge, scale that out a little bit. I'm going to right click, go to vertex, take the vertex right here on the front and push this out. Looks like this vertex right here needs to come out. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at this edge where the leg meets the foot and I'm trying to round this out. And right now it's kind of an oval shape. So I'm going to select these vertices right here and scale them in. Scale these in a little bit. Let's take a look at the flow on the front here. And I'm looking at this vertex right here. I think we can move this down. This vertex right here, can move that down, and this one right here. And then let's take these two vertices here and move them out. I think that should be good. I'm going to now um, select this edge loop right here towards the bottom of the, or right in the middle of the foot actually, and then I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to unselect all these uh, edges in the front. And then I want to bring this down. And let's see, I'll hit R and scale all these together along the Y axis. So then, actually, I've got to adjust this right here. So I'll select these two vertices. Hit W and bring those down. I just went a little bit too far with this, so I'll bring all this stuff down. And I'm going to double click on this loop right here, and this loop right here. And I'm going to hit R, scale this out, 
W and bring it down. Just want to flatten the bottom of the foot here. And I'll take these uh, two edges here and move them out. There we go. Let's go to the front panel and take a look at our foot. I'm going to right click, go to vertex, and select all the vertices on the foot here. And move everything over a little bit. So let me come in and take a look at. I'm going to take these two vertices here on the top of the leg here. And I want to push this in a little bit. All right, I think the leg and foot are doing a lot better. Looks like it's a pretty rounded out shape. So let's move on to the arm. So let's select the four edges going around the arm here, and then we'll scale those in. I'll hit R, scale them together like so. And then I'm going to take this edge and this edge, two edges here, scale them up a little bit. Take this edge and this edge, bring it in. And then we're going to need one more edge loop. So I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool right here, and add it going right through the center. And now I'll hit Q. I'll select the two edges here on both sides of the arms. Hit R, scale them out. I'll round this out some more. I'll take these two edges here and bring that up some more. I'm going to go to my side panel here and just make uh, an adjustment to this right here. I think that looks pretty good. So at the base of the arm we want a more of a round shape and then at the uh, end of the arm at the, where the wrist is we want more of an oval shape. All right, so let's go ahead and right click on the uh, wrist right here. Let's go to face, select all four of these faces, and I'm going to extrude this out. So let's see here. Uh, let's, let's scale this down a little bit as we extrude it out. Scale a little bit. And we'll extrude out one more time. Scale down. Now I'm not going to model the hand exactly the way it's drawn here. For the same way that I didn't model the foot the exact, exactly the way that it was drawn. So from here what we need to do is we need to select four faces on either side here and we need to extrude these out 
So I'm going to take the blue arrow, move them out. I'm going to hit R, and then I'll use the green box, scale all this, all this stuff together, and then I'll use the red box, scale this in. Hit W, and then I'll move this all to the edge. I'll hit R and we'll scale out some more. And I'm going to go to Edge, select these edges here on the end of the wrist. Press R, scale them in. So now basically we, we have uh, areas for four fingers here. And we just need to get this prepped so that the spacing is even. And we can have... Um, the right size fingers. So now I'm just selecting all this stuff. And let's see, I'm going to press F. It's going to frame my selection so I can now tumble around what I've selected. And just kind of take a look at this. So I think what we need to do is take this stuff and Scale it out a little bit. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to take these vertices here and kind of make a curve here. And then at the end of the uh, hand here, where the hand meets the fingers, we're going to want to. Add a curve here. Yeah. All right, this is a good stopping point. So let's go ahead and save our work. I'm going to go to File and then Save Scene As. And I'm going to save this as Stage 02. And in the next video, we'll finish the hand, and then we'll start working on the head.